Hey folks, welcome back to the You Want Pizzazz channel. Today you're going to learn how to reformat your videos for Instagram. Let's get started. So as you can see here, I have a 1920 by 1080 video here. So that's a typical horizontal video. And you can upload your Instagram videos this way if you'd like, but I think a lot of people want it to be in that square or that portrait mode or that story mode. So I'm gonna tell you the three different dimension types here. Our square dimension is 1080 by 1080. Our portrait dimensions are 1080 by 1350. And our story mode or real mode is 1080 by 1920. Today we're gonna to go with portrait mode, but you can go with whatever dimensions works for you. We're gonna start off by right-clicking the sequence in the project panel and selecting duplicate. And then we're gonna change this title to reformat Instagram or whatever you wanna call it. And now we're gonna go ahead and change these sequence settings. So we can right-click the sequence, go to sequence settings, and again, we're gonna go with portrait mode, so it'll be 1080 by 1350. So the ratio should be four to five. Press okay. Yes. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and open up that sequence. And you'll see that there are black bars. So we're gonna go ahead and manually adjust each clip so that it fits this new ratio. We don't have to worry about audio here, so I'm actually just gonna mute them so it doesn't bug us while we're editing. So let's start with this first clip. So I'm gonna select it, and then it should show up in the effect controls. We're going to adjust the motion keyframes here. So we're gonna scale this up, see how that looks. That's fine. Scale that up. Might need to adjust the position as well. See how it looks as it plays through as you might need to adjust it. All right, this one has a scale in, so we're gonna have to redo this scale in. So I'm going to just take out this animation here. I'm going to reformat it. And then I'm going to add a scale in. In this case, we have a sign, so we want to make sure that we can see what's on the sign here. Okay, last but not least, we have this logo at the end. So I'm going to just double click this nest and we're going to just shrink this logo and look back and see how that looks. Awesome. So you'll need to do that with any logos you have, any text, you just make sure that it fits on the screen and that it's centered on the screen. And that's pretty much it folks. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to the You Want Pizzazz channel for more videos. What type of tutorial would you like to see next? Please let me know in the comments below. Have a great day, folks.